Hello everyone, have I got something truly amazing for you today. How about Amiga emulation full speed ahead? Yes, we can run games at full speed now. And I give personal thanks to QCloud for bringing this to my attention, that there's a potentially better way of running games faster and better on the Mini, and of course Mad Monkey for helping me get the core going. But right now we're going to run an incredible shmup that I showcased in one of my shmup extravaganza videos, I'll beat it at a slower speed. And in a few moments you'll be able to behold the full glory of Amiga games running at full speed on your Mini. And I'll be releasing this today along with a few fixes to help the games run at the appropriate aspect ratio and such. But let's see how far I can make it in this incredibly challenging shmup. And one of the things I would like to note is you're going to notice a minor flicker here. And this could be quite possibly directly attributed to the fact that the games originally ran in the 50 hertz refresh rate. It is a very, very minor inconvenience. It is not as noticeable on the PUAE core, of course. But you'll have your options. You can choose to run some of the more CPU and GPU intensive games on the UAE forearm core. And some of the lesser intensive games on the PUAE core. You have your options. Another thing I'd like to note is if you're running uh, borders, I would typically leave the integer mode on. If you're not running borders like I am not right now, I go into RetroArch Video Options and I turn integer skill off. I do this case by case depending on whether or not I am running borders. Right now I am not running borders so I disabled it. But let's see how far I can make it in this challenging game. Hopefully I'll at least be able to make it to the first boss. And I'll do a few more test examples before I close up shop. And yes, this will be released today, along with a few fixes to help the games run at the appropriate aspect ratio. Really, really digging the visuals here. It kind of reminds me of playing a shmup based on the movie Clash of the Titans, complete with a robotic owl. It is also very, very similar to the graphical visual style of the game Calibri on the Phil 32X add-on accessory. Very, very cool game here. And I played my fair share of bullet hell shooters, such as Ikaruga and Radiant Silver Gun, and to a lesser degree, Gradius 5. So I think I can handle the challenge here. Really, really cool. Digging this at full speed ahead. Another thing that I'd like to note about this game in particular is you can unlock power-ups. There's quite a few of them here. Really, really cool. Nice add-on there. But right now, my primary goal is to at least get to the first boss and take him out. If there wasn't so much screen going on screen action going on right now, I would definitely be pulling out the drum set and doing my Stan Bush impression. Definitely an added perk to be able to play incredible games such as this. My primary reason for getting the Amiga Core going to begin with was for Shadow of the Beast. But being able to play like games like this and many, many other games, awesome, awesome, awesome. And I never had the luxury of owning an Amiga when I was younger. I had an Atom computer instead. I wanted an Amiga, I wanted a Commodore 64, and I got an Atom computer instead. But now I can enjoy this in all its full glory on the mini SNES and NES. So incredibly awesome. So far so good. I think I'll make it to the boss here. All my Shmup Strider games and videos have been helping me out and training me for this awesome game here. It looks like I have a sword familiar going on here. Pretty cool. Really, really cool. I should almost be to the boss here. And I'm also digging the parallax scroll in here. Reminds me quite a bit of Sega Genesis. More like a beefed up Sega Genesis going on here. These enemies better stop taking pot shots at me because I'm going to be taking out the boss any moment here. And 
And here we go. It looks like I have a psychotic Echo the Dolphin type of boss going on here. Let's take this guy out and move on to a few more test games. <laughs> really, really epic music going on here. Really, really cool. And there we go. NQ Game 2. And I would not at all recommend trying to do save game or save core overrides. You may end up crashing the core. I would recommend just leaving things as is. Okay, we're going to test out a few more games here. We're going to check out Aladdin, another game that is of the AGA variant, and it ran pretty bad, no matter how much we tweaked or tried to optimize it on the previous PUAE core, but let's check it out. And I have the command line set up for the PUAE core, as well as the UAE forearm core, the same way I set up the core, the command lines for the SNES and Final Burn Alpha cores. Where if you have one singular core installed, you can do just like Ben Ford slash Amiga. But if you have both Amiga cores installed, you're going to want to do the more case specific ones such as Ben Ford slash PUAE and Ben Ford slash UAE Ford Arm. So you can run one core with an easy Ben Ford slash Amiga command line. And you can run both cores using the case specific ones. And I did this the exact same way for SNES where you can do Ben Ford slash SNES if you have one singular core installed, and bin forward slash 02, 05, 10, and 16 if you have more than one core installed. It works out incredibly well. Well, let's check out Aladdin here. And there is no shame in playing a Disney game and or watching a Disney movie. I'd have to say the original Aladdin movie is one of my favorite Disney movies. But I'm going to uh, toggle off the integer mode again. Again, I do this case by case right now. And we should be running at a much better speed than previously in my test video for the PUAE core. And I've heard that if you play this game far enough, you get a very, very inter interesting rendition of a whole new world, complete with vocals. And the Aladdin game in general has been pretty cool on systems such as the SNES and Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, as well as the more recent implementation of Super Game Boy, should I say pseudo Super Game Boy implementation into the Super into the MGBA core. It's not true Super Game Boy implementation, but you're able to load the palace and or borders, which is still incredibly awesome for what it's worth. Well, we're running this game at full speed, so this is awesome. For sure, awesome. But we're going to move on to another test example here. How about Shadow of the Beast? The game that I first played on the PUAE core. And yes, you will be able to use the configuration files you've been previously using on PUAE core. And we, be, we will be updating them for future reference for more games. You will not necessarily need to use the game specific ones because the games are running full speed on the UAE forearm core as is right now. But here we go, Shadow of the Beast. Full speed ahead. And I'm going to do the same thing, toggle off the integer scale. In video options. And yes, you can still do the dummy folder method and such. I'll do one test example with the dummy folder after I do this game. Nice thing about the dummy folder is you can load the same game with both cores and see which one works out better for you. The one nice thing is... is I am not bumping the select button and turning on the main GUI that I kept doing in the PUAE core. It's, I can push the buttons and I'm not bumping it accidentally because it doesn't exist in this core that I am aware of. But 
But again, we will update the configuration files and try to get these as optimal as possible throughout future core set updates. But as of right now, everything's testing out amazingly well for me. I haven't had any issues running any games that I previously ran on the PUAE core. So we should be in game here in a few moments. I'm pushing the A button to start the game. And once we're past the screen, we should be able to start the game. And here we go. And after I do this, I'll do the dummy footer method for one or two games. And then I will release the core set update. So much nicer running at full speed. A big, big, tremendous difference here. Very, very happy with how fast and well these games are running. <laughs> Blazingly fast. I would have never realized this game was that fast on the basis of the previous test I ran with the, the PUAE core. Is that me or is this music sound a little bit like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> but awesome, awesome game. Now I'm going to 